Here in Minnesota, most judges reach the bench by governor appointment, but the voters do get a say. Every six years, every sitting judge has to stand for election and anybody who wants to file against them, uh, if they're a, a lawyer with a license, can do so. However, even the most informed voter has that moment when they turn over the ballot and think, I have no idea who these people are. Right now, it's difficult for any voter to feel like they have a meaningful voice in who sits on the bench because they just don't know enough. Eric Magnuson is a former Minnesota Supreme Court Chief Justice. He also chaired the nonpartisan 43-member commission that vets judicial candidates for the governor's selection. The goal of the commission is to give the governor three to five candidates for every opening who are uh, well qualified and can do the job. Magnuson is also part of a commission led by former Governor Al Qui, who believes we should move to a retention election system for judges. People would still get to vote, but instead of choosing between two candidates they don't know, they would just vote to keep or replace the sitting judge. And they would have much more information to go off of because a nonpartisan commission would evaluate the judges based on merit. The voters would get a report card that they could actually go read and get more details about the judge. We can't do that now because although you could evaluate the sitting judge, there's no way to evaluate the opponent. The opponent has no track record as a judge. To move to that system would take a constitutional amendment. So for now, you still have to decide between two candidates you don't really know. As a general rule of thumb, a voter can uh, be pretty comfortable that the incumbent has been vetted by this nonpartisan uh, uh, commission, uh, that they are found to have been qualified or highly qualified for the job, uh, and that they've done a good job because they're still in office. Marina Sargenopoulos, CARE 11 News. The Secretary of State's office does host the websites for judges running for election. We have a link to that and other resources at care11.com.